back to my channel. Today we're going to be trying out Makeup by Mario. This is called Master Blade Brow Pencil. And I also picked up the Master Hold Clear Brow Gel. The brow pencil runs for $22. They came with eight different shades. It's supposed to have a matte finish to our brows. Obviously, give us a natural looking brow. Vegan and cruelty free. It's also retractable and dual end. The shade that I picked up is in Deep Brunette. And as for the Clear Brow Gel, it runs for $20. It's supposed to be waterproof, long lasting, really lightweight and basically it's supposed to be holding our brows into place throughout the entire day. So today we're going to be testing both of them out. We're going to see how much of a hold does this clear brow gel have, what is the cons consistency like, and as for the brow pencil, we're going to see what is the undertone to this brow pencil, how creamy is the formula is. It's actually really easy to use. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Everything will be linked down below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and let's jump on in and draw in our brows. So I pinned back my hair. We're going to go ahead and quickly go over these products before before we dive on in and join our brows. So let's start off with our brow pencil, which I honestly really, really like the packaging. It feels really luxe. It is dual end, by the way, and then obviously it's a retractable pencil. The shade that I picked up is in deep brown, and one end has a spoolie, which I love. It's a really good size. I feel like it's gonna definitely come in handy to comb through our brows or blend out the product once we've drawn in our brows. And the other end, obviously, is our brow pencil. Love the fact that it's retractable, that you have control of how much or how little product you want, you know, when you're drawing in your brows. And it does have a slight angle. It's a little bit more on the thicker side, which I personally love when it comes to a brow pencil it's easier for me to draw in my brows and as for this shade I find it to be a little dark but we'll see once I draw in my brows it definitely has a matte finish the formula you guys so far by swatching the back of my hand it does feel a little dry so I'm a little worried I did find myself having to apply a certain amount of pressure trying to get a really good swatch as for the clear brow gel this is basically it I like the packaging it does have a really nice size bully like this bully is no joke it's really big it's really fluffy one end has short and brittle bristles. The other end, the bristles are a little bit longer. So I personally love that because you can have control of how much product you're applying on, especially if you want them to stand up a little bit more. And the consistency does feel a little tacky. It is clear, which I personally like. And there's a light scent to it. Kind of smells like glue, but you don't even pick up a scent unless you get super close to the wand. So we're going to go ahead and dive on in and draw in our brows. So I'm going to start off with my spoolie and I'm going to go ahead and comb through my brows just so they can be nicely in place and I can get a clear view of what you know what I'm working with and the shape that I'm going to be creating and then I'm going to start at the edge of my brow and then lightly outline the bottom half of my brow and then once I've done that I'm going to go in and any of those little sparse area I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly do little hair like strokes just like that really really lightly and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the top of my brow following the edge of the hairline and just doing little hair like strokes throughout the entire top half of my brow. And then every now and then we're gonna go in with our spoolie, blending out any of the product that we have applied on our brow, just to get a better view of how it's currently looking and where we need to go back in and fill in any more of those little sparse areas. I just finished drawing in my right brow. Let me give you an up close clip of how it's currently looking. And then you can kind of see the left side of my brow, how I haven't even drawn it in. <laughs> you can kind of see the before and after. Comment down below so far on your thoughts. I'm really curious to know, do you feel like this is a good shade for me or do you feel like it's a little too dark? I feel like it actually works. My hair is pretty dark. So we're gonna go ahead and dive on in to our left brow. And I'm gonna do the same thing that I did before, quickly comb through my brows so they could be nice and out of my way and in place so I know what, what I'm working with. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and start at the edge of my brow outlining the bottom half of my brow then I'm just gonna go ahead and any of those little sparse areas that I may have I'm just gonna go ahead and do little hair like strokes really really lightly just because this is a pretty pigmented dark brow pencil and I don't want to overdo it and so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish outlining the bottom half or the tail end of my brow and I'm gonna go in with my spoolie just to blend out the product that I have applied on my brows and then I'm going to go ahead and start at the top of my brow following the hairline that I currently have do little hair like strokes all right you guys so I just finished fully drawn in my brows <laughs> now let me give you a side-by-side -side comparison of how they are currently looking and to be really honest I feel like feel like they look really really good 
Definitely has a matte finish. Love the undertone so far of this brow pencil. I definitely tried to go in really light-handedly with drawing my brows because I'm a little worried how pigmented my brows can look. <laughs> so that's the only thing, but so far I personally really like it. I think it was really easy for me to use. The consistency is really nice. Love the matte finish. So we're gonna move on to our clear brow gel to set our brows into place. And like I mentioned you guys before, this clear brow gel, the spoolie, it has one end of the spoolie has like shorter bristles to it. The other end has a little bit longer bristles. So for the right brow, I'm going to go in with the spoolie end that has short bristles. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply on clear brow gel throughout my brow on the right side. And then on the left side, I'm going to use the other end of the spoolie that has longer bristles. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply on brow gel throughout my brow. And then I'm going to wait about 10, 20 minutes just to give my brows enough time for it, for them to dry down. And then I'll come back and give you guys an update on the hold of this clear brow gel. I actually ended up waiting about 30 minutes to come back on here. I got a little distracted. <laughs> but here we are. And so let's go ahead and wrap up today's video. Let's start off with the packaging on both items. I absolutely love it. Very different than anything that's currently out there. Love that it's retractable when it comes to the brow pencil. It's very different than anything that we have seen, or at least what I've seen out there in the market that I've reviewed. I love the brow pencil that's nice, thick and chunky, has a slight angle to it. I love that it's retractable. You have control of how much or how little product you want to be exposed when you're drawing your brows. I love the spoolie it definitely came in handy to blend out the product I will say that the swatch on your back of your hand doesn't do justice of what it's gonna how it's gonna feel when you're drawing in your brows when I swatched on back of my hand like I mentioned you guys before it felt really dry the consistency I had a, I was a little worried about it but when I drew in my brows I didn't have any issues whatsoever it definitely has a matte finish I definitely feel like my brows look really natural um, and I feel like I kind of picked a dark shade but I feel like this works really well especially since my hair is pretty dark comment down below on your thoughts I'd love to know $22 I definitely feel like it's fairly priced for what you're getting for so so far so good now when it comes to the clear brow gel I actually was surprised when it comes to this clear brow gel to be really honest let's start off with the spoolie it is large and in charge girl it took my breath away when I saw it I was like oh my god it's gonna make the whole process so easy and so fast especially if you're in a rush in the morning and you're getting ready I love the spoolie how innovative it is how one side the bristles of the spoolie is really short the other end is long which I love because it gives you control and gives you the option to get really creative on how you want to apply on your clear brow gel if you want to stand your brow up then you can use the short end of the spoolie if you want to just lightly apply on your brows and kind of get that natural or more traditional kind of brow then you can use the fluffier end of the spoolie which I love it's definitely clear it doesn't dry down looking crazy you can definitely apply as much of this clear brow gel as you want I actually went and applied on one layer waited a little bit applied on more just to just to test it out and see if it would get flaky weird just just to see what it would be all about and i didn't have any issues whatsoever so i personally really love that as for the hold of this clear brow gel let me tell you girl okay this clear brow gel definitely has a really strong hold my brows feel in place okay if you want something that's going to hold them you want to want them to feel secure this will definitely <laughs> be it and i personally love that they don't feel crunchy but i definitely feel like you can feel them they're in place so i really really love that for twenty dollars is this clear brow gel worth it to be honest from anything that i have reviewed when it can has come to clear brow gels i definitely feel like this is this is worth it the splurge uh, will this be something that i use every single day no girl this will be something i'll use on special occasions but so far I really love the formula and I love the hold that it gives and I love that it's clear it doesn't get flaky I feel like my brows are nicely set into place and I can definitely layer this on if I really wanted to so I hope you all enjoyed today's video if you have any questions comment and down below I'm always here to help also please don't forget to like share and subscribe everything will be linked down below and I will see you all in my next video I love you all so so much bye